Alright, let us continue playing Open XCOM, the XCOM Files. When we last left off, we are starting next to a building, which has at least one person in it. So let's see if we can remove him before anything significant happens. He didn't react fire to any of that, so I might not even have a line of sight for this. What do I snap? We'll also. Oh, he never will react. We have, however, discovered that that building is loaded with agents. Well, at least has at least one more. So back out we go. There are two people there, here which we can see, but they're both in the building and both at long range. I'm kind of concerned about the building here. So... So yeah, 90% shot, go there. One down. Alright, next up, uh, we'll move Nave up to there, sees you, but doesn't see anybody else. There's at least one person up there. Let's run to the corner and position. Let's run to the corner and position. We do have some dynamite. Not impossible that we could try something with that. I'm actually going to go for cover here. Weirdly. Um, yeah, let's position up here as well. Duck and see. Those are a Have been more concerned. Let's turn up there. That is you shooting at us with a rifle. I'm gonna duck. Okay, so this building is shocker block of dudes. Okay. Unduck first of all, and let's start shooting at you. Now, oh, removing cover is not the worst thing, but we'll take the auto now. And we will reduck because defenses. Alright, Egan, let's move around. Run, turn. There is a command person there, and he's facing us. One removed. Okay, so the question now is do we want to try and stun? It's an option. And what am I going to go for? One thing to remember is that Nave is the person here and I dropped his thing there. So I will forget in about 10 seconds. But having told myself, maybe I won't. Okay. Um, meanwhile, not sure there's anything else I can really do here at this point, other than just prepare. So, is the thing, if I move closer to the building, I'm going to get shot at by whoever comes out of there. But, equally, we can move close enough to zap them anyway. So, okay, we'll just go. See if he puts himself in a position. Oh, that's not great. Hagen shot in the back. But that's all that happened. And he's not, he's not destroyed. Done. Did not want this to happen. Okay. Uh, Rise, we're going to move you up to here. And I think we're going to prepare the medical thing at this point. One spotted. You. I'm going to look. I'm going to run back to here. Face that way and duck.
Yep, we know where he is. That has to be him. Yeah, there we go. All right, so let's uh, go for a zap attack. Another zap attack. Okay, so we captured some of the leadership. And we're on the same spot as our gun, which is always a good thing. Okay, so we can pick that up and do things for next turn. Also, not too badly wounded. Use medical advice, heal, heal. You're fine. Hagen can then do his thing. Rise can put that away. Get back to being the sniper we want it to be. The question, of course, is is that all of them in the building? Inevitably, it's going to be no. But, you know. No, actually, we keep we keep Aegon in the corner, just to cover things off for the moment. He's a bit far away to do anything significant anyway, so let's just unduck, take our sight, let's take our shot. Reduck. I don't know who we were reacting to in terms of movement, or... What, but the main forces have arrived. Good news is we are, we do have a few long range weapons online at the moment, which is nice. Okay, so let's go for the shot here. 88 miss, and think about it. 108 sniper. One down. Pick up. Duck shot and we will go for you've got a rifle you've got a pistol by the look of it easy dangerous close but not as dangerous here and at least we've done a little bit of damage okay next up let's move you up to there my main thought process is can we do any damage at long range there we go. Because it removes obstacles, if nothing else. And reduck. So that's going to be Smitey's job. Next up, we're going to move Aegon. In fact, we're going to run Aegon for the rest of this. And make sure we're not getting flanked. We did see one person down here a while back. And what do you know? He's still kind of there. Okay. So Aegon doing the flanking thing, everybody else kind of warring up. But they're moving rather than shooting, which is the way round I prefer it. And potentially shooting each other. Okay, so let's go for snap, 14. Very nice. And let's go auto fire here. Five shots at 12, but also the possibility of going into other things. Two kills in one turn. And yeah, white arc with a heavily varied weapon seemed quite good. All right. Rise then. One in the back on you. You've got a rifle. There is a fence in the way, though, so we're going to take the shot here. All right, just dinged. Also, we should have you ducked. Duck. Unduck. Aim shot. Reduck. And nave. Nudges forward. We'll take the shot at you this time. All right, so we've wounded both, which is good. Again, could have ducked, should have ducked, didn't. Um, question now is, what do we do with Aegon? Because he's really not, he's a bit of no man's land at this stage. We can't really take shots at this because the range is just ridiculous. But he's got no cover to run into at all. I mean, yeah, I don't have anything I can do with you. But I know there's rifles in here, so Aegon might be going and doing some weapon swapping. 
Yeah, Hagen, you're going to do better with an M16 at the moment. Okay, two more coordinators. So that's where the panic hasn't happened. They've got all their leadership intact. Uh, so the question is, can we take out their leadership this turn or in the near future? All right, Smitey unducks, and we will take a auto shot at you. 12%. Okay, damage dealt. He's only got a shotgun. Let's go snap and done. Right, next up, uh, let's go for Diffin. And we are going to go for the aim shot on you. I'd like to remove targets where possible. Didn't manage it. Snapshot is 41. We'll go for that. Work. All right. So again, we have you as a priority, but I think actually, let's see what we can do with an Aegon. Bearing in mind that, of course, we know about one to the right. Uh, let's go for an aim shot at you. Shot to the face did almost nothing. Duck and target choices I just used to. One, two, four. Yeah, exalt wounded. Um, who's got some time he's left? Dave. Wounded, but with shotgun and at quite a bit of range. Wounded, Uzi, bit of range, and wounded. Let's go for you on the basis of morale and save the snapshot. Okay, good. Running away while bleeding is good for us. Wasting time moving while uh, bleeding is good for us as well. Being closer, also good for us. Especially when you miss. Okay. Also, good to note that we still got line of sight on this guy, because that means we know he's still unconscious. Um, okay. This is looking like a good round for our heavy weapon. So let's go for an auto fire at you. Because I see quite a lot of people behind we could hit. But probably won't. Okay, let's then go for snapshot at you. 26 twice. Reduck. Right. Aim shot at you. Snapshot at you. This one that we wounded, it is. All right, wounded. Not critically, though. Let's see if we can take the shot at you. Didn't manage it. All right, so this leaves Rise, who we can duck and have a reasonable shot at killing one of these people. I'm going to go for you. Nicely done. Okay, that'll hurt the leadership as well. And it's just the clone of Aegon. So, a few options, really. Even everybody is kind of bleeding here, I'd almost prefer to go for the leadership again. We have one already secured. Twelve percent. Twelve percent. Twenty-two. All right, duck, and we shall see what happens now. Not enough panic. Not enough for our purposes, anyway. And people are taking some hits. And they're getting close enough to risk shotguns. And Uzi's come to that. Okay. Nave, how are you doing? One point. Do you have a thing? You do not. Rise does have a medical bag with a heal left, so we're going to use that. We lose a sniper shot, but 
we keep an extra soldier in the fights, so we'll take that as a trade. Okay, Undak. So you've only got three shots left, so we are going to go snapshot and snapshot, I think. Okay. Now reload is needed. Clone of Aegon. Massively missed aim shot. But dealt with. Okay, next up, snapshot 65%. We're going to go for, again, the leadership. Unduck and ink shot at you, 88. Hit, no damage. Snap, 24, no damage. Nave. Okay, a little more damage. I think they do probably fall if he does, so. Yeah, that was worth it. They lost two, including both leaders now, so I'm thinking I'm quite good about this. Panic. So I think we'll pick up the rest. I'm hoping this is panic fire and not just counterattack, but. Exalt Goon has gone berserk, but he's shooting in the right direction. Not a bad thing. Why can't you go berserk at your own troops? Okay. I think we mostly got this done. I'm just going to take some shots at the other rifler. He may have been active in the fight. I don't know. You definitely weren't, but you're berserk rather than panicking. So take a shot. More bleed. 33. Nope. Uh... Okay, move up and aim shot. Job not done, though. Uh, Smitey, therefore, does need to reload. And I think we're going to do We're going to... I don't see a need to advance. Their morale should be plummeted. So... As long as we're not at any risk, I think it's fine for us to just stay where we are. Clone Aegon will move just to... Oh, there we go. Uh, 61. Missed both. Okay, so they haven't panicked, but they're over there. Ink shot. Another one down. And yeah, I think they did this without any more LMG shots, at least. Well, I'm trying, of course, but you know. Just consideration. Okay, so these are the people with armor. We can go for attempted aim shot here, 45. No line of fire. We'll keep that up then. Let's move. Let's move Smitey up just in case there's any more people. But yeah, I'm thinking this mission's down. And unlike certain Black Lotus missions, there are unlikely to be any ninjas at this late point. 25 aim shot. Nowhere near. Alright, two. One armed with rifle, other armed with rifle. 108. Okay, one wounded and... You up. So you're wounded. You're not wounded. Which, if nothing else, is going to lower their morale, which, uh, well, you know, lower their accuracy. Which is why we we'll worry about this occasionally. They're still unconscious, which is good. I don't want to... We're going to duck and wait. We'll see. It turns out to backfire on me, it backfires. Okay, I was expecting the surrender. 
it happened. Good mission all round. Absolutely great mission. Accuracy increases for all troops, which is always a nice thing to see. Okay, let's sell off some stuff. Did we get any money briefcases? We got six money briefcases. Um, we're getting so lucky on those briefcases. So I've certainly had outpost missions where we've got almost no money for it. All right, don't need the cop commando. M16s, I mean, they're endearing to me, but I'm not really going to keep those either. Might keep the ammo, though. One shotgun, we're not interested in. We will keep those. Keep the illegal requisition files. Lots of cash, six of those. And yeah, we're probably going to sell off some of those and stuff to people as well. Uh, so, we have one exile infiltrator we don't care about. One, two, three. And I guess a Red Dawn lad, since it's about the same value. Different senior agent, Knave makes captain. Solid awards for three of them. We gain a lucky award for Smitey. Uh, agency hit, regardless of really poor odds, seem to be the proof of this rule. Oh, well done, Smitey. But third award of lucky. <laughs> okay. Master of the Black Ops sniper rifle is Rise. Sniper second award is Rise. So firing accuracy and. Uh, firing accuracy, firing accuracy, and me melee. Yeah, that's going really well. Absolutely zero complaints from me at the moment with that. Okay, so we're up to 1.3 million. So we could build ourselves a workshop, which wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to do here, and it is on the agenda, but I think research prior takes a slight priority right now, even though manufacturing will be important. I am absolutely certain of that. But hey, maybe we're not done with all the money we're getting this month. Who knows? Um, okay, next up we have the Strange Life 4 mission up there. I think this is going to be... Ooh, Black Ops Premium. The reference grows. Black Ops offered to put us on their premium customer list to give us access to a wide range of their cutting-edge experimental equipment as long as we approach them with specific requests. Yes, please. Okay, so this gives us six. I think this base is going to be basically picking up all of the stuff here. We want the... Black Ops Assault Rifle. Two, we want the... Actually, let's put secret... Point into secret files. Point into Concerned Citizens. Point into WizKid Rocket Drone. Point into WizKid. We want to get some of these people processed because we're running out of storage space on quite a lot of stuff. But yeah, we'll slowly get some weapons out of this team, out of this second base as well. We'll have... Basically, the main plan is until we get another facility, this second base is going to go through all of the low-level tech we shouldn't care about, and this base will do with the main things. We hope. Okay. So the man is then going to patrol here up until the point it becomes daylight again. Which it is now. Okay. Is it going to be more Mangorn? Is it going to be something strange? Who knows? Is it even going to be zombies? Let's find out. Uh, Commissar, why are we so low on weapons? Because I've only put actual things on this van. Oh, good. Okay. Well, let's have a... Let, we'll find out. This mission might not be a continuation of anything at this stage. Hunting rifle. Ammo. Super Mike Clayton. Um, Magnum Taze Pistol. Yeah, Magnum Taze Pistol. Club. Thing. Well, at least they got the armor, I suppose. Ah, got darn zumbles. Okay. Here's my response. We try and kill one. We then flee. We don't talk about this mission and this setup again. Abort. We might gain some stats. <laughs> well, that was worthwhile. Okay, Black Ops Assault Rifle Acquisition has been attained. Seems pretty good. So we'll get those going forward. Next up, let's go and grab ourselves... Black Ops Light Minigun. Yes, please. So, Black Ops Assault Rifles, you say. Uh, 
Uh, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Okay. Black Ops LMG. Assault LMG. Yeah, there's the assault rifles. And we would use the same standard ammo. So the question is, which is better? Assault rifle auto four, actually fifty-five versus the rifle. I mean, it's fine. It's not. It's a, it's a reasonable comparison. It's not as ultimately accurate, but it does have obviously the ability to go with that. Again, probably still not going to take it, even though it's using the same clips, but nice to have. Or there might be something else. Five more engineers into the troop is Nin. And thus are... Uh, oh, actually, I didn't even allocate the last set of engineers. Whoops. Okay, so that takes us up to a nice 290,000 a month. So that's six new engineers each month just based on that. Assuming we have nothing else for them to do. We have six more spots available, but I think they might end up being agent spots at this stage. Or maybe go five and one. Five and one seems possibly reasonable in truth, but well, it's going to save the money for the moment because we want more scientists. And for that, we need more facilities. I just love seeing that occasionally tick up. All right. There we go. Light minigun has been acquired. So, allocate research. Let's grab ourselves some more interesting tech. Oh, actually, explosives cache. And the advanced. Because we have those, so we might as well like, learn how to open them. Okay. Let us purchase, then, the light minigun. Uh, because we are going to need a few of these. No question. I'm gonna purchase three and twelve at both bases. Which I assume I've done there. I don't know if I've done it in both, and if not if I haven't, well we got some spans. Not enough storage space. Uh okay, so just two and six for the moment there. We sell some things. Or just make some more space, in truth. But it's fine. We'll worry about that later. Fuel traces. We have random boxes as well we should probably manufacture out. Ah, do, 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 do. Ramshackle weapon box. One. And one. Yeah, don't need to put any more on that. We're not going to get any benefit in a few hours. Uh, taste bits and shot clips and some grenades. Alright, we have researched for secret files, which give us this. Right, cost. Let's go for illegal requisition articles and one Black Ops minigun. Okay, crate filled with modern expensive explosives. Maybe the standard one at the same time, weirdly. But we will definitely unpack this, since we have it. Also, yeah, both of them went to the Temple of Power. Whoops. Oh well. Uh, transfer two troops in. Two light miniguns. They actually do have some ammo there already, but let's um, let's balance it out. And actually, we go three and two. We want our main base should have it a little more in truth. Madman in Kursk has been mailing his local news stations about the secret of immortality. Finally, he attracted attention of local investigators who looked into claims and found strange substances and samples in tow. Now, scavengers who are covering up this one, and that's what they found. Super Carpet Corpse and some energetic blood plasma. We gain some incendiary grenades. Alright, standard explosives grenades. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay. So, let's go for Black Ops Cores, Black Ops Spy Pistol, and.
Black Ops also sniper. Okay, one standard explosives rate. And illegal requisition files. So we've now got any information on the H and A. And the minigun acquisition. Da -da 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 -da. 15 shots. 15, 15 shots, 12 accuracy, 35. Full potential in the kneeling position. Seems pretty good to me. We may even purchase some of those as well. All right, meanwhile, research here is going average on all fronts. Don't have too much else I need to really do on that side of things. Um, Let's just cut a couple of engineers just so I can see if I've got anything to manufacture for the moment. I do. Six weapon boxes and a bunch of ammo boxes, was that? Yep. 20. Getting some more incendiary grenades. So all we got out of that crate was incendiaries. Uh, some more stuff. And... Wizkid rocket drones. Small threaded sentry robot armed with a powerful rocket launcher. And we have the Cult of Steve on our side? Yes? No? Don't know? Nail Stormy, I think, will go for as well. Who's good? Thrive on the edge of the grey market, where the unusual tech is bought and sold. Smart and rich. Seek out these artifacts and offer money or power. Feel the sensation of being someone more than just a mere model. Uh, no such thing as a free beating, indeed. Alright, and also get back to manufacturing and make sure that we are still making our optimal profits. Gone with the fish. Population of the entire fishing village in North Africa went missing. Leaving no clues to fate except Church of Dagon, iconography really written in blood all over the place. God darn Church of Dagon. Really need to actually research them at some point. Okay, Nobelion. Uh, this miraculous drug developed by Chief Medical Officer can keep our agents sane and motivated. Does a number on their health, though, as suggested these pills only in emergencies. Regards 30 energy and 20 sanity at a cost of 5 health. Well, better than nothing, I suppose. Rocket drone? Definitely tempted. Can't lie, definitely tempted. Um, okay. Let's go for the let's process the chosen of Dagon. And let's also process Actually let's just use a couple of points up here and go for Red Dawn Pioneer and Yeah, we'll go for two Red Dawn Pioneers. Alright, Super Mike has finished training. Let's make sure our new guys are actually training, which I haven't done in a while. New research on this side of the base. Go for... We've done with most of the random acquisition bits, haven't we? Let's put two points into an Exalt Goon, and let's put a point into the Osiris boss and start actually working on that. Spy Pistol. A uh, small but relatively accurate firearm is primarily meant for undercover operations. Okay, Kinetic 21, not the worst. Not amazing in truth. I'm also going to change this round because the boss is probably going to be tougher. Yeah, a little, but... Okay, Auto Sniper. Uh, highly developed sniper rifle is faster and allows for auto fire. Somewhat low in accuracy. Select from the target helps if you have good reflexes. So, firing accuracy with a bonus, and firing accuracy bonuses as well. Okay. Good, good, good. Alright, new box of ammo. Alien biochemistry, one of the big ones. Analysis of alien tissue has confirmed what the biochemists have been suspecting for decades, that varying, organ in, varying organs result in varying bi biochemistries. And uh, good... Aliens seem to rely more on the usage of transition metals and beryllium in their biological compounds than we do, suggesting more readily available in during the alien biogenesis. Uh, 
With this knowledge, we can create more efficient weapons, develop new chemical methods to deter the aliens. Okay. So. Russian scan is currently showing us average. I want to go for... Let's go 10 on the MIB agent and 10 on the Reaper terrorist. Because let's start actually processing the down. What do we get from the MIB one anyway? Uh, Unlocks Council of Earth clue, which we've already kind of got. Maybe some other weird stuff as well. It's not actually giving us all that much of truth, but hey. Do what we can. Concerned citizen. Spy, exalt, Interpol notified. Well, new dossier, I suppose. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Dart pistol? Just in case we want to go pistol terror challenge on this one. Okay, so this is the UAC rifle. It fires three bullets in rapid succession, allowing for high level of fire control. Like all UAC equipment, it can work in outer space. Good to know. Now research UAC rifle acquisition. Just in case we have to work in outer space, I suppose. Eh, yeah, random sport paraphernalia, why not? It's been a while, but we found a cold outpost. Is this going to be Black Lotus? It is Black Lotus. Well, okay. Let's then get ready. I'll be free. Connor, you are back. Welcome back. Uh, let's bring in Clone... Clone Sapia to send a high-level team for this one. Equipment-wise, then. Oh, actually, armor-wise, first of all. Have yourself... Have yourself an armored vest. Should probably buy some more of those when we get a little more money, but hey, that'll do for now. Right, equipment then. We got anything new that we've wanted, truth, I suppose. Um, probably not. We captured most people from or most of the types at this stage. I guess the question is, do we take a light minigun? And then wonder why there was a question. Um, yeah, not too much I really want to do about this one. We're going to actually cut the napalm grenades for incendiaries. And we'll go with this. Alright, intercept then. Humby free. Cult outpost. Let's see how this will go. I was say, it was a busy start of the month, but actually not a lot's happened since then. Hello, a zombie infestation in the US, you say. Right. Right, 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 right. The crew, then. We have Mono. And most of the other people are... Well, actually, they're in bands. This is fine. Let's bring in Clayton, Commissar, Super Mike, and Dylan. So you can join us for a oh, Dylan. So you can join us for a zombie mission. I'm sure it'll be fine. Right. Uh, let's actually grab ourselves some Kevlar from these people. Then work the Kevlar down. I think armor vest. Kevlar Commissar also gets an armored vest. Okay. Equipment wise, we're going to bring five heavy weapons on this one, or at least as many heavy weapons as we can get away with. There's probably going to need them. So, uh, assault LMGs, yes. Where's the minigun? There we go. Light minigun. We'll take that with an ammo box recovery. We're going to take our Slack Ops Sniper. And yeah. We're also taking some dynamite, some incendiary grenades, whatever we can. Okay. So, next time, more zombies. A siren sea vessel spotted. 
We have detected an Osiris smuggling vessel posing as a cruise line. Our job is to board it, apprehend the crew, and secure it legal cargo. Expect resistance from Osiris agents and security. You cannot retreat from this mission. Well, I was about to say, it's been a bit quiet until quite into the month, but actually it's starting to pick up again now. All right, Humby 2 then. Let's bring in the White Mage. Let's bring in FTC. Rose leading the mission. Let's also make sure we have appropriate equipment, by which I mean more equipment. It hasn't told us. We can't. Um, let's go for a, a light minigun and an assault LMG. High explosives. We still have high explosives on this side of things, which is nice. Well, I'm thinking this is going to be a fun trio of missions. I also have a feeling we're going to fail all three of them. But uh, let's see. First off, it's going to be the zombie apocalypse, I imagine, based on daylight. Busted. Evidence of exalted involvement on a massive scale. Well, not surprised. Council will be used by. Yeah, fine. Okay. So I'm going to save the video here, and next time we will do things. Till then.